Hey everyone and welcome to part two of my time in Austria. So I thought I'd film a quick little intro because this video starts kind of abruptly since it's a continuation of part one in Austria, which if you haven't watched it yet, I'll leave it linked down below. So as you saw in the title, today we are doing some travel and landscape photography in both the rain and the snow throughout Austria. I'm using the Canon 5D Mark IV and the Canon 35mm 1.4 Mark II to take photos throughout the majority of this road trip that we're doing. And I'm also using the Sony a7 III and the Sony 28mm F2 to vlog. And I also take a few photos on that rig as well and we take some comparison photos so we can see some more focal length differences between the 35 and the 28 when it comes to doing landscape photography. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you with me in Austria. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Okay, we finally made it to Seisenberg Clam Park, which I think there's like a hiking trail with a gorge and caves and rivers and stuff like that. So yeah, we're just walking up there now and we're gonna take lots of photos when we're there. Somewhere in the middle of our drive to our next location, we stopped for a little break on the side of the road and Dan and I went running through the long wet grass and he took some portraits of me. It was raining so I didn't bring my filming camera but in terms of framing, I wanted to be at a low angle so you could see the flowers in the grass but I didn't want to sit since the grass was soaking wet so I did this weird crouching thing but tried to make it like fashion. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like how these turned out in the end. Also, it was so cold that my 5D4 battery died right when we finished taking photos. You can hear it but we made it to the top of the gorge which looks amazing. Dan's getting some shots in it now so the cinematic shots you see here were all taken on the Sony a7s Mark II. It's pretty cool. It also feels really weird to do exercise when it's freezing cold. I feel like my face has gone bright red from like the wind and it's also raining at the same time but this is very very beautiful. Also, there's like amazing snow-capped mountains behind us, which I've been stopping to take photos of like every two seconds. <laughs> I almost dropped Dan's camera off the bridge. You what? <laughs> it like, I, it was on video. <laughs> That would have been fine. <laughs> It is so loud! 
that was such a good hike and such a good view and experience. I loved that so much. Um, I can't remember the name of it, so thank you Future Jules who's editing this video for putting it up in the screen for everyone. I would highly recommend if you're in the area you're able to travel here to come and do this because it was so nice. Whoa. I don't know what kind of photos and videos and stuff that we got, but hopefully they were good. <laughs> Is it okay? It's never okay. Oh my god. So I went to go grab my hair clip and I looked down at my camera and somehow it opened up the menu and it was scrolled onto format. So I had to double check that the photos were still there, which they were. Phew. Hey everyone, it is now the next morning. It is Saturday and we are in Germany. <laughs> so we woke up early this morning in Austria. We're like right on the border of Germany and came to this national park today because we're making our way slowly back to Poland. Uh, we need to be home by tomorrow. So again, I don't remember the name of this national park. So Future Jewels, thank you for including the title of this park in the editing. So you guys know whereabouts I am. Do you know which way to go? Probably down there. Yeah, I think down. So I'm taking a photo of the landscape that we have just here. This is like a little viewpoint on the hike slash walk that we're doing. And I think this will be a good spot to see the differences between the 28 and 35 focal lengths. So I'm currently at f2.5 and 1 over 4000 ISO 100. And I'm just going to take a couple of snaps of the landscape with some different framing. Some with more water, some with more sky, vice versa. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the 28 and we'll see how much wider and how much more of the landscape you can see with this lens. Okay, I found a nice little ledge to put you guys on. Did I press record? Yes, I did. <laughs> so the last thing that we photographed yesterday were some portraits against the wood. That is terrifying. That is also so sketchy. You can't really see it on video, but it's just bowing inwards and outwards. Oh my gosh. And I don't want to walk on it. I think this will be another great spot for a landscape shot. I think I'm going to try and crop out as much water as possible to get these mountains here on the side. It looks so beautiful, wow. So in terms of landscapes, I feel like I personally prefer what the 28 mil looks like, especially in the shots that we just took then. I feel like I was able to get a more interesting angle because the 28 is a bit wider than the 35. So with the 35, I had to crop out quite a lot of the water to be able to get the top of the mountain in the shot.
Whereas with the 28, because it's that little bit wider, I was able to include the top of the mountains and a lot more water in the shot as well, which I preferred what that looked like. Also, the ducks were very cute. <laughs> Thank you for blessing us. Um, <laughs> I'm about to cry, but there was a couple that had a Dalmatian and I asked them if I could take photos of him and they made him sit on the rock and it was just so cute. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I want to take a photo of these flowers down here on the ground because they're super pretty and try and get the mountains in the background. <laughs> Comes to the Austrian Alps and takes photos of flowers on the ground. Jules. I mean Germany. <laughs> Jules. What? They're weeds. Uh, well, we don't have these pretty weeds in Australia. <laughs> Sometimes I like to take photos of the details within a landscape in the area that I'm visiting. While I like to get the main landscape shot and some cool portraits with the landscape as well, I find that the detail shots with hints of the surroundings are fun to capture too and can really complete the story of a set of photos that you're taking while traveling. Oh my god, I'm scared. Are you? Is this not scary? Oh, yes, I'm So we went up the gondola and it started raining and snowing pretty hard when we got up to the top here so we only filmed like a few clips and just ended up taking more photos of each other more than anything. The main reason for this is because my Canon 5D Mark IV and the Canon 35 are weather sealed so they're not totally weather proof but I have shot with them enough times in the rain that I know that they will 99% be fine. <laughs> After our portraits, I wanted to take some photos of the contrast between the fog and the dark trees and the mountains. I kind of wish I had a longer lens with me, but I tried my best to make the 35 work in the situation that I had. I wanted to try and avoid the man-made structures as much as possible without compromising my composition too much, so I got a couple of photos that I'm pretty happy with. On the way back down, we got stuck in the lift just above this lake, which was actually pretty convenient and I was able to get a few photos. Even though in a lot of these pictures, you can see the reflection of the glass from the gondola thing that we were in, but I do still like how they turned out. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the vlog in Austria slash Germany at the end, which was even a surprise for us. But anyway, I again really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I make new videos every single Wednesday, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye! <laughs>